Hey lovelies, and welcome in my kitchen. Today we are conjuring some mana buns from the original World of Warcraft cookbook. Join me and give your house too that delicious smell of caramel and happiness with these yummy, fluffy cinnamon rolls. As always, you will find ingredients listed below, both in the metric as well as the imperial system. I did adjust the original recipe by almost doubling the fluids in the dough. But trust me, the outcome is so much better, giving us soft, light buns that will feel like caramelized clouds when biting into them. We first start off by mixing our fresh yeast or active dry yeast with a bit of the lukewarm milk until it dissolves. Make sure the milk is not too hot and not too cold to get it to work. Yeast is hard to please and a bit of a diva when it comes to temperature sensitivity. Then we want to place all our dry ingredients like the flour, brown sugar, and a generous pinch of salt in a big bowl and mix it all together. With our wooden spoon, we make a little well in the middle of this mixture and pour the yeast and milk in. We mix it with just a bit of the surrounding flour and then cover it with a dish towel. And now it can pre-ferment for 15 minutes, which will help improve the taste and texture tremendously. Afterwards, we add in all the wet ingredients like the egg, the rest of the milk and the butter. Also here be careful not to upset our temperamental yeast. The milk should have room temperature and the butter should be liquid but cooled down. We combine it all by stirring. Of course, you could also use a mixture with dough hooks, but I personally like to get down and dirty with my food. Plus, I do think there is something satisfying and therapeutic in creating something so delicious and beautiful with your bare hands. The dough is ready once you can easily shape it and once it bounces back when you poke it. Now that we have prodded and poked the poor thing, we let it rest in a warm place for about one hour or until it has doubled in size under the dish towel. In the meantime, we can combine all the ingredients for our delicious cinnamon filling. Two tablespoons of brown sugar and flour each, a lot of cinnamon and the melted butter. Let's stir it until it looks all smooth and creamy. And uh, easy as that, the filling is done. Now let's chop some nuts. Here you can experiment, as many different types of nuts will taste great. I did use walnuts, but make this recipe with hazelnuts before as well, which turned out great. By now our dough should have recovered from its previous shiatsu treatment and should have doubled in size. And it is looking fuller and more radiant than ever before. Skinny is not always better, ladies and gents. My little tip here is to place it on a flour dusted baking sheet, dust some more flour on top and place another baking sheet over it. Like that you can easily roll it out without creating a sticky mess on your rolling pin. And after it has flattened a little bit, we remove the baking sheet and roll it into shape on a surface that we too have sprinkled with flour. If you can manage to get it into a more or less square shape, that would be great. Every time I roll out dough, I remember my Oma making Apfelstrudel. And I will definitely share her secret recipe with you once we can harvest in my apple orchard later this year. And now we can spread the filling on top. If you are into kitchen witchery, now might be a great moment to make use of some sigil magic. If you don't believe in witchcraft, just draw something naughty with the sauce and nobody will know later on. <laughs> After that, we sprinkle the nuts all over the dough, making sure that they are evenly distributed all over the surface. And at last, we carefully and slowly roll the dough from one side to the other, going as neat and regular as possible. It definitely helps if you have flour dusted the work surface before so the dough doesn't keep sticking to it. With our sharp knife, we slice it into pieces, each about two fingers thick. And then we put these little rolls on a baking tray, remolding them into a rounder shape in case we have squished them a bit in the cutting process. 
The baking tray now goes into the oven for 15 to 20 minutes on 180 degrees Celsius while we make the topping. In a little saucepan, we slowly and carefully heat the brown sugar. It is really important that you stir often and don't put up the heat too high to not burn the sugar. Once you see this caramelly consistency, we add the heavy cream. This can steam a lot, so don't be alarmed. Just make sure you keep calm and bravely stir your cauldron. Now add flour, vanilla and cinnamon and combine it all. Doesn't that look absolutely fabulous? I just want to take a bath in it guys. Now wait if you want and conjure those mana buns from the oven. They do smell like heaven. Top them off with a caramel topping and enjoy them with a cold glass of milk or your morning cup of coffee. In the next few weeks, we will cook a lot more yumminess. But we'll also brew some powerful potions and learn kitchen witch spells. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to tag along on those adventures. I wish you a safe journey through Azeroth and your day. See you soon.